Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the grep command to search for text in multiple files recursively. And this will work on any Unix type of operating system that is Linux, um, Ubuntu, Debian, and Mac, which is what we're gonna be using today. So let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. And on my desktop, I have this folder called stuff. In here, there's some files text files, other type of files, and then a folder in here with some more files. And that's what we're gonna use as uh, our, our tutorial today to search through. So I'm gonna open up a terminal window and make it a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on here. And I'm gonna go into the desktop directory and then into the stuff folder. Okay, so in here, like you'd expect to see, we have that folder and a couple files. So let's start off simple, search inside of this file. So we'll call the grep command. Uh, what we want to look for is the word Tony, and we want to look at, just to start off simple, only in the file.txt. So hit enter, and this returns the line that contains Tony. Okay, so this is a text file, and we are going to try to find every occurrence of Tony. So if we open this file, we'll see that, um, I'll bring it on the screen here, we'll see that it uh, has a lot of lines, but the only line that has Tony in it is this one right here. So that's what it found. Now let's get out of this real quick. If we wanna search for all occurrences of Tony, but we wanna find both Tony with a lowercase and Tony with a capital, we can do that with dash I for case insensitive. And it doesn't matter, you can do capital T or lowercase T, and we still wanna search in file.txt. So hit enter, and now it's returning two lines. The line that we originally saw with Tony with a capital T, and then my name is Tony with a capital T, lowercase Tony in this case. So that is how you use grep with a case insensitive uh, search. Next thing you wanna do is to search all text files. So right now we're just searching this text file right here, but what if we wanna search this file and this file at the same time? Well, we can do that with grep and we'll continue with the case insensitive search, Tony, anything, asterisk, ending with text, any file that ends in dot text. So you can hit enter, and now we see in file.txt, we have the original search result, and then file.txt, we have the lowercase search result, and then in fun.txt, we have this file also has Tony in it. So we're searching both of those files at once. Now, we can search all files regardless of what their uh, extension is with something like this, grep-i, Tony, and then just the star. So pretty much any file in this directory we're gonna search through, and that returns results now from file.txt, file.txt, fun.txt, and hey.doc. So it says you found another Tony here. Okay, cool, but what about recursively? That's what this tutorial is about. We wanna recursively search all the files in this directory and all the files in the assets directory over here as well. So we can do that with grep-i, and we're gonna continue with the case insensitive again. Um, I'm sorry, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do grep-r for recursive, and then we wanna find Tony in all files from this point and recursively forward. So it's gonna look through these three files here in this folder and these three files here. So let's go ahead and do that, and that's gonna return an even larger list for uh, we got file.txt, fun.txt, hey.doc, and then inside the assets folder, we have a file called another.txt and file.do. So Tony was found on this line, and hey, it's Tony in that last file. So we can keep exp expanding upon this. If you don't want to search in this current directory, we can do grep-r for Tony, and then we can do something like uh, in my users directory, and my Tony Florida directory, and then there's another folder in here. We can search in there. It's not going to find anything, but it doesn't have to be relative to where you are right now. Um, we can combine flags. So I, I was thinking about doing this early, but not to confuse you, we can combine the case insensitive flag and the recursive flag, search for Tony in all files relative to here, and this returns all of the instances that we've seen so, so, so far. So file.txt, fun.txt, hey.doc, and inside the assets folder, another.txt, and file.do. Um, what if we want to search recursively only for all text files, though? You would think that maybe you would do something like grep-ri, and the order doesn't matter here. It could be ir or ri, tony, and then star.txt. But that doesn't actually 
recursively search into the assets folder. You'll see none of these results here uh, turned up in the assets folder. So this, this is where it gets a little confusing, but in order to do that, you have to do something more like this, grep-ri dash dash include equals, and then um, in, in quotes, the asterisk dot text, close quotes, and then what we wanna look for is Tony dot. So a little bit confusing, but you guys should understand by this point what this means. What this means, we're just adding an additional flag here. We're only one, we, because this is a recursive uh, search, we only wanna look in dot text files from this point. So let's see what that does for us. And it does what we wanted to do. So it's not only searching the files at this level, but also inside the assets directory, case insensitively and recursively. Um, what if you want to search for a string with spaces? So you would have to enclose that in quotes. So if you want to do grep dash recursively, case insensitive, Tony teaches tech, just make sure that you enclose the search term that you want in in quotes if you want them to have spaces in it. So that's what that would look like. Um, and we'll just do that from this point here, hit enter, and it found this all caps occurrence of Tony teaches tech. So that should be a good overview of how to use grep to search for text in multiple files recursively. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.